FTF is currently training 11,100 youths in the 36 states and the FCT in different trade areas, made up of 300 youths from each state, including Kano State. They are set to graduate at a formal closing ceremony in Abuja in the second week of February 2020. This is under the National Industrial Skills Development Programs, NISDP, one of the skills intervention programs of the ITF. Prior to the current batch of 11,100, over 450 Nigerians have so far benefited from the scheme since its inception in 2016. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we in the ITF have been following keenly on most satisfaction how the Kano State is alleviating poverty and creating job opportunities for its teaming youth. As you graduate this batch from Pan Learning Center, a center that is also in partnership with the ITF under the ITF NECA Technical Skills, Skills Project Development, TSDP. We want to urge the Kano State Government to set in motion or commission even the ITF to monitor those who have benefited from similar skills and empowerment programs undertaken by the government. This is to ensure that the Kano State evaluates its return on investment. This is standard world best practice. To the beneficiaries, I urge you to see this as a ticket to prosperity. Your government has done the major part for you. You are trained and equipped with the requisite skills and about to become ready for employment. Let me once, on behalf of my Director General, Sir Joseph Ari, commend the Kano State Government under His Excellency, Alhaji Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduje, OFR, for his laudable initiative. May Allah bless our collective aspirations. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ma. A round of applause once again for the lady representing the DG of ITF. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, permit me to warmly welcome the speaker, Kano State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Abdul Aziz Garba Gafasa. Sir, you are welcome. The speaker gently strolled in as the program was making progress. Let me now, with your permission, Your Excellency, invite the Director General of the National Directorate of Employment, who has been with us since morning, to partner with us and to witness this occasion, to please step forward for his remarks, the DG of NDE. Let us appreciate him, ladies and gentlemen, with a round of applause. Auzubillahi min ash-shaitan rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kano State, Adamul Islam, friend of NDE. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Kano State, my brother, my friend, my classmate, Malan Naziru. Royal Fathers here present, members of Kano Executive Council, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum. As you have heard earlier, I have gone round with His Excellency and his team from one center to another and to the Skill Acquisition Center. 
I was shocked because what I've seen is beyond my wildest imagination. Your Excellencies, this is not the first, the second, and the third time we come to Kano as far as training, resettlement is concerned. But today I'm witnessing another 200 young men and women of Kano State Indigenous that are trained and are about to be empowered with working tools so that they can be on their own. Out of the 1,000 His Excellency is targeting. Your Excellency, we in the NDE, the mandate given to us by government is to create jobs, provide employment through entrepreneurial skills development. I wish to thank you for making it easier for us in Kano State. Lastly, for the beneficiaries of this legacy, I wish to advise you to judiciously use this opportunity because they said opportunity comes but once. Ladies and gentlemen, your Excellency and your team, may Allah continue to guide, bless, lead you, your family, and the loved ones. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Ivory Tower, we have the HOD Mechanical Engineering Bio University, Kano, and it is my honor and privilege to call upon him to please come forward for his goodwill message. Let us put our hands together for the university professor. <laughs> Azubilai, Minajitani Ragi, Bismillah, Ramon Rahim. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kano State, the, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Kano State, the Royal Fathers, the members of the Executive State Executive Council, and other distinguished guests, you are all welcome. Now, I first of all want to thank, I mean, to um, express my gratitude to the Commissioner of Information for inviting me here, and also to thank the Governor for the achievement that uh, has been recorded by the provisions and the training for the graduates today. Now, for me, as a, a university lecturer, today is about getting answers to the questions that I've been asking for many years and many months. Now, when I was coming, I've seen the car service centers before, and I was wondering, do they have the equipment and the facilities to give us first-class service for our cars? So when I went out today with the executive governor and his entourage, I was very impressed by all the facilities that I saw. So when we are going to commission the Dangote Skill Acquisition Center, I was also asking, I hope we don't, we don't just have buildings there, we have equipment. But also when I got here, I was more than impressed by the facilities that I saw on ground. Then I was also asking, so facilities, what happens after that? What about the manpower? What about the management? Just as I was thinking, the uh, governor gave a remark, and in that, he answered all my questions and beyond. The provisions have been made for uh, the management of the center and also about the manpower for the, for the training of the or the participants for the program. The, the ND and the ITF are heavily re represented. Also, when I was coming here, I was saying, yes, we have trainees. I hope they have what they are going to use um, after their training. So I was also impressed when I came here and I saw 
all the facilities ready for them to take off from, from day one. So for this, I thank the governor for the foresight, uh, for the planning that went into all this. So I just, on this, at this point, pray for Allah to guide the governor and all his uh, members of the executive council so that they can be bringing out more and more programs of this nature so that they can empower our youth for that Kano State and Nigeria can be better for it. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Next, quickly, the national president of Nigerian Association of uh, Automobile Technicians, Alhaji Magaji Mohammed. Executive Governor of Ghana State, Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduji, OFR, Kadimali Islam, Kadimali Education, and Kadimali Technicians. <coughs> Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Ghana State, Elijah Nasir Gauna, the Speaker of the National or the House of Assembly, Kano State, all commissioners here present, the Honorable Special Advisor on Automobile, Honorable Idris Hassan, the Managing Director PAN, the National and State NATO officers here present, all invited dignitaries, security personnel here present, member of the press, all other protocol duly and respectably observed, ladies and gentlemen. First and foremost, let me begin with congratulating the governor and good people of Kano State over the recent victory of His Excellency Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduje at the Supreme Court, which put an end to the 20, 2019 governorship election petition this victory, Your Excellency, is victory not only for you as a governor, but you all well-meaning good people of Kano State. Once again, congratulations, Your Excellency, for the trial. Secondly, on behalf of the Nigeria Automobile Technician Association, NATA, I wish to register my heartfelt appreciation and humility to you, Your Excellency, for the appointment, for the appointment of Honorable Idris Hassan for the second time as Special Advisor of Automobile. This appointment also demonstrates the concern and love Your Excellency have for our former Devil Cluster NATO. Sadly, I wish to command and congratulate Honorable Idris Hassan, who is also the Treasurer of Nata Kano State Council, for winning the hearts of good people and government of Kano State, especially His Excellency through hard work, sincerity, and commitment. Hence, your appointment for the second time by His Excellency. I implore you to redouble your effort in the next level of this administration, one again, congratulations, Honorable. About NATA in brief, Nigeria Automobile Technician Association NATA is a professional body of all auto repairs that operates small and medium scale 
auto repairs interferences in the informal sector of the Nigerian economy. Though established in Lagos in 1919, we have all over 8 million members spread within the 36 state of the Federation, including Abuja and the 774 local government areas of Nigeria. Our members constitute over 75% of all automobile-related works in Nigeria with the following trade group. Buys. Auto mechanics, auto electrician, upholstery, auto body builders, wood, aluminum, steel, etc., auto sprayer, auto air conditioner specialists, battery charger, auto blacksmiths, etc. And also, Your Excellency, I want to use this opportunity to tell you, since this association came into being in 1919 for about over 100 years, this is the first time when a house applicant became the first or from the north to be the president of this association. And this also happened to be in Kano State, sir. Today mark yet another milestone in the life history of youth empowerment through automobile maintenance and repairs in Kano State. As the national president of NATA, Your Excellency Dr. Abdullahi Omar Ganduje is the only governor in Nigeria today who gives priority to practical use empowerment, especially in automobile maintenance and repairs, using mechatronics technology in order for the benefit in use to be at par with industry-based parties. One uniqueness of this empowerment program is the first side of His Excellency has established sustainable services centers across the state for the beneficiaries of the empowerment to be fully engaged practically who have since been servicing vehicles in the state in particular at Nigeria at large without any complaint from the vehicles owners, which is unprecedented for your excellency. You have left your footprint in the sun of history with regard to youth empowerment in Kano State, in particular, and Nigeria at large. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I cry your intelligence to bring to your notice that on the 12th day of March 2020, His Excellency's Executive Governor of Kano State will be decorated as the National Grand Patron of NATA the love and concern he is showing to Nata for being the first governor in the history of Nigeria to appoint, to appoint a Nata member a special advisor on automobile. Once again, we are most sincerely appreciative, Your Excellency, for graduating use. For graduating use, I call on you all to be committed and sincere in your workplaces. Finally, this address will not be complete without commending this well-packaged youth empowerment initiative by Your Excellency, which has resulted to relative fees we are all enjoying in Kano State today. Once again, congratulations, Your Excellency, for your victory as a Supreme Court. Thank you all for giving me listening and while I need, while I read my address. May the Almighty Allah grant all us journey mercy while we go back to our various destination Abbey. Nata progress, progress. Nata. no Nata no movement no Nata no movement no movement no economy no economy the country paralyzed thank you very much I'm saying this uh, I want to use this opportunity again to call on the his Excellency, the Executive Governor. We have our partner who happened to be a Moscow Egypt Oil Company, which we are calling to the, uh, to the Executive, to His Excellency to please give an order so that uh, all the vehicles of government house they'll be using a Moscow oil as lubricant as an indigenous Egypt oil. Thank you very much. I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you. You may return to your seat. May I crave your 
indulgences, ladies and gentlemen, to now invite the Wombang Arai Alhaji Muhammad Muhammad Maharaj, who will speak on behalf of the traditional institution this evening. The Wombang Arai. If the Wombang Arai is not present, may I call upon the District Head of Dawakin Tofa Alhaji, Dr. Abdullahi Mekanu Rabiu, to please come forward and represent the traditional institution.
Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kano State. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Kano State. The, Your Excellency, the Speaker, Right Honorable, distinguished all ladies and gentlemen. We are here on behalf of Dennis Bank, the AGM Northwest, to augment and to contribute to the good things, works that we have seen today. Honestly, we are invited, but we have never thought that we are going to see this kind of gathering here. In view of that, on behalf of Zenith Bank, we urge the state government to forward all the list of these graduates to the Zenith Bank by tomorrow so that Zenith Bank will grant them loan to continue with a very good work, which is part of what Zenith Bank is getting in this state. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Zenith Bank, for your contribution. May I call upon the representative of Globacom PLC to please also come forward for his remarks. Hello, good evening, everybody. All the protocols are observed. Our On behalf of Globalcom, we are invited here, and in our own contribution, this is a very good, useful venture. And uh, on behalf of Global, I wish to say this, that uh, all the beneficiaries would like to invite them and give them glue lines. And this glue line is not just the line you are giving, we are giving a CG line. If you call between yourselves, no charge. But if you call outside, there is a charge. The meaning of this is that as an entrepreneur, as a mechanic, maybe you are in Kaduna and somebody call you and he has a car you want to work on. And maybe he doesn't know how to work on it. So he'll be asking you, what do I touch? How do I do this? How do I do that? That woman will be eating up your money if you are paying, if you are calling somebody. But we're asking you, between you and say, if somebody call you on that CG line, no charge. So it's a free of charge. You can take one hour, He'll be indicating you on what to do and how to do it. This is our contribution to this great event, to this great occasion. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, the representative of Globalcom. And it is at this very juncture that I will invite the pivot of this occasion, the Director General Pujo Automobile Nigeria Learning Training Center, Please come forward for our remarks. We want to thank God Almighty for His help to us over the past one year. We thank God for helping us to take care of the 200 trainees from Kano State for the period of 12 months. And we're grateful to God that we are here witnessing their graduation. And we pray that the investment of Kano State and the investment of their parents will not be in vain. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kano State, Babamu, Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduje, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Kano State, the DG ND called you his brother, his classmates, and I'm saying you have a younger sister in Pan Learning Center. The Honorable Commissioners, local government, information, the SA to keep it short. We want to thank you most sincerely for the arm of fellowship you have extended to Pan Learning Center thus far. We want to congratulate our father on the victory at the Supreme Court judgment and we pray that God will continue to endow you with wisdom, good health, and help to carry on the good work that 
that you are doing in Kano State. Kano State is actually the pesetas of youth empowerment program and job creation in Nigeria. And we say that with all authority. You will recall that Kano State has put up 10 units of the Shade Tree Youth Empowerment Initiative Project just to ensure that the youth that have been trained do not stay out of work and they are managing these workshops. Also, the Kano State government has extended their arm of fellowship to the Yoruba, the Igbo community, to train their youth, and we believe that this is exceptional. I must mention, in appreciation to our father, the fact that he comes to the center, and this is a fact, he comes around to check on the progress of these trainees. And the least hours he has spent with us is two hours. He goes from one workshop to the other, from one equipment to the other, to ask the trainees what they have learned. It's not just verbally, but they show him practically what they are learning. And we believe this is a wonderful one. We know that you will carry on this good job. Thank you, sir. Pan Learning Center is the leading auto technology institute in Nigeria. And I must add that Pan Learning Center is a generic training center. What that means is that we're not limited to Pujo vehicles. We train in Honda, we train in Hyundai, we train in Toyota, all run to ensure that these graduates are not stranded at any point in time. We also run a job-driven training system and competence-oriented program. We have graduated nothing less than 1,253 youths. Out of them, we have 300 women mechanics, and they are doing very well. Our core traits that's been mentioned are auto mechanics, auto mechatronics, auto panel beating and welding, spray painting. And in addition to these, we have fabrication, which means that these trainees are taught how to make beds, chairs, and other things to ensure that they don't stay out of job. We also do the ICT training for them, as well as the defensive driving skills. All these under just one umbrella. Of course, certifications, we are fully backed, as Engineer Mohammed has said, by MBT. We also have the ITF as our fathers and our mothers, and also we have the City and Guilds certification. We pray that the trainees today will be reading great things about them in future, and they will yield the desired fruits for Kano State Government and for their parents. Thank you very much, and welcome again. Thank you very much, Ma. Your Excellency, I now have the honor to invite the Commander 3 Brigade Nigerian Army Bukavu Barracks Kanu to please step forward for his remarks, sir. <laughs> Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kanu State, Dr. Abdullahi Ganduje, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor, the Royal Fathers, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. I'm highly honored to be invited here to make a remark. I want to start by uh, thanking His Excellency for this great contribution to youth development in the society. Youth empowerment in our times today is very critical. Critical in the sense that once they are empowered, they are taken off the streets and they are given a means of livelihood. This is just the beginning for them. And I hope they will make the best use of the opportunity we have been given today 
to better themselves. Once more, thank you very much, Your Excellency. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we are gently and gradually making progress into the program. And it is at this point in time that I will invite the representatives of the trainees to come forward and share with us their joy. Batch 1 has been represented by Usman Mohammed. Batch 2 represented by Husseini Muhammad Dauda, while the last batch comprises four young men and women, namely Ashiru Yunusa, Amina Hassan Garba, Aisha Muhammad, and Musa Suleiman. May I quickly invite these gentlemen to please come forward in the order I mentioned and make their remarks. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سنانا محمد كاليد بنكوري أمانا دم فرازدو نايا غامي تو ساقوم ميكا غيسوا دغو ديا غمي غرما دكتا عبد الله عمر غندوجي أو إفر كادم الإسلام فور فلس فور سنان بابم ميكا ساقوم غدير مو شيني Mengira mungkin na ayat atau kena yang muka kayu mukaran kaduna, domum mukoi sana ada, domum mudoga ada kamu. Kuma aja kamu kunching Allah, menje mengi mungko ya. Sedang kuma menzo mengira mungkin na ya bude mana gurare na yang kasuanci, kuma gashenzu menza ada kamu mudoga ada kamu. Ado abun dikang abun dah kesu kajina tang adang. Akan abun dari doa ada kansa. Kuma alhamdulillahi, mengira mawgamna menyugodia Allah Isa kada alkeri Allah ijaugora Allah raba kada mahasada Allah Isa daganang muche kata hu president of Nigeria. Insha Allah, mengira mawgamna Allah Isa kada alkeri. Auzi billahi min al-shaytanir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Mai girma gwamnatin Jihar Kano Engineer Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduje Khadimul Islam Mai girma mataimakin gwamna Dr. Nasir Yusuf Gauna da sauran manyan manyan baki da jagoran mu Engineer Idris Hassan Muna godiya bisa irin wannan dawainiya da akai da mu a cikin kunshin rayuwar mu one ran at the bottom of the top of the top of the top ni wakili nena game at one mune parukong wa enda aka para ya iwa aka wana program mnje mungu isa na ar yara mota mndao megiru mawgwa mna bekiale mahakaba angina mana maaikata mna aiki ayenza haka mna rupang gomnati Ita cega pada kula awal zaman tak saya irumu, eng Allah ya suya ada pada muka gomna tu kunya apa, kuma mana ruk am megi rumah gomna dah dunga kau mana ayeka dega panggaran gomna tu gomna ti moto cung gomna tu kau dia service ni macam apa dah, boleh dia amici. Okay, the next individual issue, please go. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I'm highly delighted to stand before you humbly to on behalf of my colleague Game Three Trainees in this historical occasion to welcome His Excellency the Governor of Kano State Dr. Abdullah Umar Ganduje Ganduje Gandung Aiki and his deputy, Dr. Nasir Yusuf Gauna, and the Golden Man SA Automobile Engineer Idris Hassam Bardangwagwarua. Indeed, we have no equally word to express our sincere gratitude and appreciation. 
for you constant assistance since our enrollment into the program to date. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect you, grant you his knowledge and wisdom to continue to serve people from Kano State Presidency in Allah Yairda. Because, uh, because it is our conviction that you passes all the credentials to be the president, we equally thank, thank you our abled cabinet who work around the clock to implement the policy and the program of your administration. Your Excellency, we beneficiary of this workshop. Pray that your government will continue to enroll our time in yours into the workshop to acquire knowledge and skill to make them responsive of the need and aspiration of their individual community and the state and the country in general. Your Excellency, sir, an ideal man is workshop of a devil. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Thank you, thank you. Um, quickly, the next uh, trainee. Please be as brief as possible because we are running out of time. Please. Bahana <laughs> Dr. Nasir Yusuf Gauna, da mwena ba kimo gunta. Bayan haka, iya yi da saurang abu kanayi, da kuma dikka manyam ba kimu, mwena godia ga wanna halarta taro na parintiki, da mikye yi awanna rana. Bayan haka, 
a madadina da kuma abokanan karatu na gabaki daya muna me godiya da dukkan wata dawainiya da akai mana a cikin al'ummar matasan jihar Kano yanda muka koyi aiki a can garin Kaduna wanda dukkan wannan abu ya samu ne da taimakon zababbe kuma masoyi mai bawo gwamna shawara harkar ta ababan tafiya kenan mas wato engineer Idris Hassan wanda aka fi sani da bardan gwagwarwa muna godiya wadda ba za ta iya musaltuwa ba daga karshe ga baki daya ina addu'a dukkan bakin mu da masoyan mu da suka taru a wannan waje ubangiji Allah ya maida kowa gidan salafiya wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh mai girma gwamna mace makin gwamna manya manya baki yan uwana dalbai assalamu alaikum ina mika godiya ta ga mai girma gwamnan jaha Kano ina mika godiya ta musamman ga mai girma gwamnan jaha Kano sa'annan ina mika godiya ta ga ina mika godiya ta ga SA Automobile tare da sakatarin sa Abubakar Yusuf Fage saboda da gudumman su tare da kulawar su muka cimma nasara ina mika godiya ta musamman ga dukkan malaman da suka kula da mu a wannan program din a Kaduna sa'annan mu mata muna ƙara mika godiyar mu gajajirtaccen gwamna Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduje bisa dukkanin kulawar da muka samu da tsaro da muke samu insha Allah ba za mu ba mai girma gwamna tare da jahar mu kunya ba za mu tsaya mi aiki tukuru da yadda ubangiji Allah ya mana jagora We have told you earlier and the numerous speakers that spoke uh, before the goodwill messages this training was conducted in three batches and each batch received one year intensive training at the pan learning center kaduna and the messages of appreciation came from representatives of each batch and the first batch includes 75 trainees the second the second one is 150 while the third one which uh, members are being uh, graduated today are 200 so they appreciated the initiative of dr abla umar ganduje for engaging them in this uh, noble trade which was among those identified with gaps employment gaps among youth in the state and they assured the governor after appreciating his uh, uh, effort in this direction that they will try and train more youth so that the initiative will have multiplier effect on the economic and social well-being of the people of Kano State. Today graduating in front of our leader and the executive governor who will give you the opportunity to be. So ours is just to say a word or two that on behalf of the people of the state, we thank you very much for giving this team and you the opportunity to be who they are and to have the opportunity to stay on their own instead of seeking job opportunities from the government or from other public health sectors. Now, one day there will be teachers, there will be trainers, and people will also go to them and learn what they learn from Kaduna. So, sir, we thank you very much. We have the project will continue for the betterment of the use of the state. Thank you once again, and God bless. Thank you. Ladies 
and gentlemen, I now have the honor and special privilege to invite His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kano State, Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduji, to make his speech. Your Excellency. Please sit down. Please sit down. Auzubillahi minash shaitani rajim. Auzubillahi minash shaitani rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Kano State, Dr. Nasiru Yusuf Gauna, the Right Honorable Speaker, Kano State House of Assembly, the Principal Officers of the Assembly, Members of Kano State House of Assembly, Honorable Commissioners and Members of Kano State Executive Council, the Head of Service, Advisors to the Governor of Kano State, Party Leaders and Party Elders, Representatives of our Royal Fathers, the Emirs of Bichi, Kano, Gaya, Karai, Director General, National Directorate of Employment, Director General, Puget Automobile Learning Center, the Managing Director, Puget Automobile Nigeria, Commander 3rd Brigade Nigerian Army, Commandant Nigerian Air Force Kano, Representatives of Directors General, NBTA, ITF, the Eze Indivo, Leaders of Yoruba Community, other ethnic nationalities here with us, delegates from Bayero University, Amadou Bello University, Italia, our trainees, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, you are most welcome to this very important and historic occasion. First of all, let me thank the major stakeholders in this initiative. That is our trainees, 200 of them, men and women, their parents who agreed to allow them to go to attend to this training, members of the public, especially various sectors of the society, all the 44 local governments, ethnic nationalities who are also indigents of Kano State, members of the press, everybody, we thank you for coming to this very important occasion. This occasion, let me start with the philosophy behind this occasion, that is behind this initiative. Kano State being the most popular state in the Federation, we are vulnerable, we are liable. If care is not taken, our population 
will be a liability. But we must make sure that our population is an asset. In order to make our population an asset, we must pay attention to human development. And for human development, we need to consider issues of education and issues of health. Issues of education pertaining to skill acquisition in order to create job opportunities for our youth, in order to ensure that this program is well articulated, this program is bound to succeed at all times, we decided to undertake a research within Kano to find out what are the gaps that are existing in terms of manpower development in Kano State. We discovered that we have four, 24 very important gaps that if filled in, will be able to move Kano State forward and also will provide uh, employment opportunities for our youth. Taking that into cognizance, we decided to build an ultra-modern skill acquisition center in Kano. I believe SS today, from what we have found out, is the biggest skill acquisition center in the country. This skill acquisition center, which we name after one of, one of our own, Alhaji Ali Kodangote, will soon be commissioned by the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari. We completed this center. We provided all the equipment that are required. We provided all the conducive climate for the operation. Now we are training the instructors, and very soon this center will be commissioned. As in addition to that, we decided to see that we train and we have a target of training 1,000 auto mechanic engineers in Kano State. This is a program that we intend to do, that we are doing, in order to ensure that a part of, a part from providing employment opportunities for our youth, also we create efficient and effective services in the automobile industry in Kano State. By so doing, we started with the first batch where we trained 72 youth, men and women. We provided them with the necessary tools and also with the seed money. All of them are gainfully employed here in Kano State. We took another 150 men and women for training in Kaduna for one year. We paid their training fund. We trained for their feeding, accommodation, consumables, even for their security. They graduated. We provided them with required tools and seed money. All of them are gainfully employed here in Kano State. We also went to the extent of constructing automobile service centers. Ten of them. We just commissioned the last one today, this morning, or this evening. Today, we are witnessing the graduation ceremony of the third batch, which is 200 trainees, men and women, including different nationalities who are settled here in Kano State. We have spent the sum of 420 million naira for the training. We paid it to Pijo Automobile, who are the trainers. Also, we provided the sum of 80 million for the purchase of the tools and equipment, which will soon be provided to the trainees. And we have made available 50,000 naira to each of the 200 trainees so that they can start doing their business. Ladies and gentlemen, this program is a very, very important program. This program, we accord it the highest priority. 
That is why we have a target of 1,000. And so far, we have finished with 422. And the next batch will soon be paid for, and it will start in Kaduna as usual. In order to ensure that, it is not only this category of youth that we train for this job. We also decided to train 2,690 tricycle operators and tricycle mechanics that we provided them with training, we provided them with tools and seed money for a successful operation. Also, we undertook another program that is those operating heavy, I mean those, of those that we intend to teach modern vulcanization. We recruited 560 youth, men and women. We trained them, we gave them, we gave them uh, instruments and tools, and now they are gainfully employed here in Kano State. We took another 60 youth, men and women, heavy duty trucks. We taught them maintenance and also operation. These two have already graduated and now they are gainfully employed here in Kano State. So ladies and gentlemen, I now urge the trainees to take this issue very seriously. We intend to continue with this program and also we have an evaluation team that is following these trainees to their respective business premises and find out how far they are doing, how well they are doing. From the information that we have, all of them are gainfully employed, all of them are assisting themselves, they are self-reliant, they are assisting their families, they are assisting their parents, even their neighbors, and also they are even encouraging other youth to join this very important program. So ladies and gentlemen, with this, I hereby inaugurate or commission this inaugurate, I mean this, uh, swear, I mean this uh, graduation uh, ceremony of our youth, these 200 auto mechanics uh, engineers. Thank you and God bless. Jama assalamu alaikum. Naparko ine makubarka alizwa. Musamma wat anda wana abu nye shafa so say to so say. Alan Musali, what an amata sa so the review, Mazada Mata, the Ia Yansu, the Kuma, what an the Muki had a guiwa, the Sudo, Mimugudana, the one Nang Aiki, but I let the Munsa Mishkilaba. Muna, you are Pujo Automobile Nakaduna, when the Indamukatula and the Mata sa has okay, Shikara Guda, Muta Muna Godewa, Kumamuna, you are Maraba, the Wakilang ITF, Muna, you are Maraba, the Wakilang. NDE mune wa maraba da wanda suka lakanci aikin makanikanci na engineer daga jami'oyin Ahmadu Bello da kuma jami'ar Bayero University nan a Kano da sauran wadanda kungiyoyi daban-daban wanda suke kula da irin wannan sana'a ta makanikanci da farko abin da ya samu ka fito da wannan tsari shine cewa jihar Kano ta fi ko ina ko ko tafi duka sauran jihohi yawan al'umma hiya anna a Nigeria saboda haka wannan yawa namu muna so yawan mu ya kasance ya zama yawa mai jari ba ya kasance yawa na jidali ba saboda haka idan muna so aka tafaru dole ne mu dau muhimman matakai wanda za mu tabbatar da cewa matatan su mun ba su ilimi kuma mun ba su ilimi mai amfani cikin wannan tsari na ba matasa ilimi mun gado mun mun dau mun yi wato wani bincike mun ga akwai sana'a iri daban da ba har guda 24 wadanda yake idan matashi ya koyi wannan sana'a babu shakka baya bukatar wani ya dauke shi aiki zai iya yin sana'a kansa ya kuma iya ci da kansa a sakamakon haka muka gima gina katafariyar Sana Santa ta koyon sana'a wuce muka sa wa suna Aliko Dangote wannan katafariyar Santa 
nan gaba kadan shugaban kasa Muhammad Buhari zai zo yi bude ta to kuma domin mu dau wasu fannonin wanda su ma suna da muhimmanci kamar fannin gyaran mota muka ga kai ya kamata muka yi kuduri za mu dau matasa dubu daya mu tabbata cewa sun zama makanikai injinoyi na gyaran mota a nan jihar Kano muka fara da zubi na farko muka dau matasa 72 muka koya masu suka yi shekara guda a Kaduna suka dawo muka ba su kayan aiki muka ba su kuma kudin guzuri yanzu suna can suna aiki kamar yadda ya kamata sannan muka dau kuma matasa 150 maza da mata da ma duka kabilu wanda muke tare da su a nan jihar Kano su ma sun dawo mun ba su kayan aiki a yanzu haka suna nan suna gudanar da sana'a su sannan nan gaban mu kuma ga matasa nan 200 maza da mata suma sun kammala aikin su koyan aikin nan na shekara daya a Kaduna mun ba da kudade miliyan 420 domin a koya musu wannan sana'a sannan muka ba da kudi miliyan 80 domin a sai musu sufana sufana da sauran kayan aiki na gyaran mota wannan duka wannan kaya ina nan aje nan ga ka fadan nan ga baka dan zamu raba musu wadannan kaya yake sannan kuma kowane matashi da yake wannan aiki mun bashi naira 250 wannan tsari bai tsaya anan kawai ba mun dau masu tuka keke na adede ta sahu su 2680 mun koya musu yadda ake gudanar da wannan sana'a ta adede ta sahu mun koya musu yadda ake kuma makanikancin adede ta sahu mun ba su kayan aiki suna nan sun ci gaba da aiki kuma suna jin dadi suna cin riba a wannan sana'a da suke yi sannan kuma muka dau matasa 590 muka koya masu aikin vulcanizer irin na zamani su ma muka ba su kayan aiki muka ba su kudin guzuri dukan nin su kamar yadda rahoto ya nuna mana suna nan suna aikin vulcanizer na zamani kuma sun iya rike kansu sannan ko muka dauki matasa 60 wadanda suka iya tuka babbar mota wato kamar irin su 16 18 da 9 11 su ma mun koya musu yadda ake service na irin wadannan manyan manyan motoci mun ba su kayan aiki su ma suna nan suna sana'a su kamar yadda ya kamata to jama'a abinda muke roko muna roƙon matasa wannan sana'a tana da muhimmanci kware da gaske kuma wadannan muka koya wannan sana'a muna roƙon su su rike wannan sana'a da hannu biyu biyu domin wannan ne kawai zai kawo ci gaban al'umma a wannan jiha ta mu da wannan takaitaccen bayani nake kaddamar da yaye wadannan dalibai ko kuma injiniya injiniya na motoci da sunan Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yanzu za mu je kuma inda za mu ba su wadannan kayan aiki domin kowanne a danka masa kayan sa sannan kuma ga santa santa da muka gina wacce take wanda za su yi wato workshop workshop nasu inda za su gudanar da wannan sana'a wadansu kuma kamfanoni za su dauke su aiki kuma naji dadi kware da gaske da Zenith Bank suka ce su bude account za su ba su bashi mai ruwa takaitacce domin su ci gaba da sana'a su ko da yake ko ba a ba su bashi ba ma mun riga mun tsara su yadda za su ci gaba da wannan sana'a kuma su samu kudin shiga dama na bada umarni duk motocin gwamnati lalle a dinga kai su wajen wannan makanikai wanda muka koya wa mota muka koya gyaran mota domin wannan zai kara musu martaba zai kara musu samun ciniki domin su tabbata cewa wannan sana'a tasu suna samun kudi shiga kudin shiga kamar yadda ya kamata 
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Mun gode. Abdullah duk wanda yake filin nan duk Allah ya fita daga cikin filin. In banda yan jaridu da suke aiki. In the meantime I want to invite His Excellency the Executive Governor of Kano State to make the presentation of start of capital to selected trainees. Uh, engineer Idris Hassan, the special advisor, can you please um, come up with the list? And the His Excellency will present the capital here and then proceed to make the presentation. <laughs> Yeah, well, um, can you please uh, hand over the list of the trainees so that we can call them one by one? Ashuru Yunusa, quickly, Ashuru Yunusa, Memuna Aminu, Aisha Abdul Mumin, Abdullahi Saidu, Abu Bakar G. Adam, Amina Hassan Garba, Musa Suleiman Adam, and Maria Usman Adam. Ashuru Yunusa, Maimuna Aminu, Aisha Abdul Mumin, Abdullahi Saidu, Abu Bakar G. Adam, Amina Hassan Garba, Musa Suleiman Adam, and Maria Usman Adam. Eight ladies and gentlemen. In addition, we have Shuaibu Rabiu, Shuaibu Rabiu, Sakina Yusuf, Gali Abdullah Yusuf, Shamsia Sani Usman, Mubarak Mustafa Adam, and Fatima Yakubu. Let me repeat the names once again. The additional names Shuaibu Rabiu. Sakina Yusuf, Gali Abdullah Yusuf, Shamsia Sani Usman, Mubarak Mustafa Adam, and Fatima Yakubu Muhammad. Ladies and gentlemen, these are just samples. The remaining trainees will collect their own startup capital after this program. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. These young men, their families and communities, and the entire people of Kano State will continue to appreciate you for what you have done to them and to the people of Kano State. Your Excellency may now proceed to the presentation of working tools for these uh, ladies and uh, gentlemen.
No, no. Let us present this one. There is no time. So you can let us know. You can let us know what you, what you have for us here. Yeah. Where you? You can let us know what you have for us. Your Excellency, sir. Your Excellency, sir, we have trained uh, 200 trainees in two categories of trades. They are multi-skilled. They, they have different skills to be able to work on the vehicles. Now, we have a set that are trained on mechanical mechatronics. So they can do the electrical parts of the vehicle. They can as well do the mechanical parts of the vehicles. So for those that are trained on mechanic mechatronics, we have 11 sets of tools in this place. We have uh, the launch uh, professional diagnostic tool. This is meant to uh, correctly diagnose electrical faults on the vehicle so as to eliminate tribe and error that causes more problems on customer's uh, vehicle when the faults are not known correctly. So with this, you can troubleshoot close to about two different 200 brands of vehicles. Peugeot, Hyundai, Toyota, Honda, Scooter, and so many other brands of vehicles, 200 of them. So with this, the mechanic, the, uh, the trainees, technicians will be able to avoid any try and error and ensures that the customer is happy at the end of the day. So this is one of the tools. On this also, we have a digital multimeter that helps with the launch uh, diagnostic tool. We also have the set of socket spanners. These are set of socket spanners that helps. These are specialized tools. The qualities are branded. These are quality brand tools. These are quality brand tools to ensure that quick jobs are done correctly correctly without error it is said that a good mechanic will also have a good tool a bad mechanic will always complain of his or her tool but for this set of trainees because of the qualities of this tool you can ensure that work will be done quick and in good quality this is what we have for them his excellency sir and then we also have a set of complete toolbox that carries other set of tools that they will need at every point in time when work is to be done very high quality tools the governor has procured for this set of trainees. You can see, I thought you are going to clap. Just appreciate the governor for all of these things you are seeing. We have in addition other sets of quality electrical toolbox. So help me open this carton. Yes. Set of electrical uh, toolbox for electrical repairs. This is to ensure that every detail of fault that is traced is also being diagnosed correctly and is also being repaired without any fault. Once you have good tools, you can ensure that the quality of repair is also good, meeting the S manufacturer standard. So these are sets of, of tools that have been procured by His Excellency for the sets of uh, mechanic mechatronics trainees. And then to also to be able to ensure that these jobs are done correctly, we have jack stands such that when the mechanics uh, work, they don't have back pains because they don't carry heavy tools on themselves. So these jack stands are able to help the trainees position the vehicles correctly. So they don't just lie on the floor, but they are safe. Their safety is guaranteed because the vehicle is on a support jack. So they have hydraulic jack that are able to also lift the, lift the vehicle so as to ensure that job is correctly done. So these are all set of tools that have been procured by His Excellency to so ensure that these trainees are not just trained, but they can also start up very well. Where you want to, to get right trainee to work with. So this for each of the so for each of the 98 set of mechanic mechatronic sets, each of them will go home with all of these sets. 11 pieces of this will go to each of them. So we have this that will be presented to about eight representatives of the mechanic mechatronics team. And then we we'll also have another eight set for the for you. yes. This for him. Take care of your. Take care of your child. Take care of your child. So this is for her. This is also going to her. She's a mechanic, mechatronic trained technician, and she's been very, very excellent in the training. And we hope that she also do so even in practice. The same thing we presented is what we have here. So we have all of these sets going to the 98 set of mechanic, mechatronic trainees. So His Excellency, I don't know if you want to. Well, the one that she can hold, 
but everything is for her. Yeah, but uh, you know what? Just uh, what's your name? Come this graveyard. You wanted to be an automobile mechanic, and you are one now. Are you happy? Do you promise me that you will not abandon this job and sell the tools and go back home and start uh, dreaming that you have no job? Okay, so thank you. God help you. Thank you. So this is exactly the same set what we just see here. Okay. My camera, I can come back. The same set is also okay. represented. It's the same set, what you see here, Your Excellency. It's the same set. It's also mechanic, mechatronic. Also, this place is the same. So, I move to the, the same thing. The same thing. So, we are moving to Panabit and uh, spray painting. This is another different set. So, you can. His Excellency, sir, this is another group of trades that has been trained. These are the body works technicians. The body work technicians are trained to do body repairs in the area of panabitin, in the area of wedding and fabrication. You can see with this, they are able to prepare auto body and then they can use this and the spray gun to spray the vehicles. This is the spray gun. So with this, they can prepare auto body very well and then prepare a very fine finishing of the body. So with, the, with this and the air compressor, they were able to spray correctly, very fine finishing. And then they also have the oxygen acetylene box to be able to weld and fabricate and do all sorts of things. They have the body panabitin tool to be able to bring out body defects, dents and correct where there are any form of uh, dents that is to be corrected. They also have a set of panabitin uh, toolbox that carries the tools that will require they will require to carry out correct corrective measures on vehicles so all of these are here so all of these are here you can see very quality tools that the governor has procured for them to ensure that the quality of job is finished to the manufacturer specification even as required so you can see and then we are sure that these trainees have been well trained in the use of these tools to bring out excellent jobs and customers will be happy and be satisfied even at the end of the day. Thank you, His Excellency. So we have a hundred and two trainees on the body panabitin that will be presented with these tools. And we have their representatives in this place. This is also a grinding machine. Very, very important. Yes. So this is a grinding machine that expects that when dents and, panab when dents and defects are, are corrected, you'll be able to grind finish to ensure that the surface is well prepared for the painting to take place. So we want to use this to present. Thank you so much. This is a common leader, Your Excellency. It's the same thing. Yes. Yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah. 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 So, am I Excellency, say I'm not a presenter. I'm a say, you are a woman leader. You know? <laughs> Yo, uh, yo, 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 uh. yo, uh. <laughs> yo, it's the same thing we have here. Yo, uh. so what of the, yo, uh. yo, uh. no, uh. it's two cents. Hey, she can. So, Rakaya, this is for the, uh, another line there. Uh, let us move to the last line. It's the same thread. Muje, muje. Kuberna, kuberna. So, uh, now we know we have four thread, panabit and paint. So we join them together. We have mechanic and mechatronic. We join them together. So. Hmm. 
them can do, one set of them can do mechanic mechatronics because that's how the vehicles today are built. And then another set can do the body works that in turn includes the body fabrication that includes the panabitin and the final painting. So this set ensures that they can do three, three uh, trade in three skills in one trade. So they are multi-skilled. They are trained to be multi-skilled and they are very excellent in carrying out these jobs. So for each of the 102 uh, uh, body works trainees that can do these three trades, all of them have this set of equipment. And by the time we look on our behind here, these are all the sets of equipment that have been procured. We can allow the governor to see the sets of the equipment that are here. The cameras can also view it for us. These are sets of equipment that have been built, that have been purchased even for the purpose of these trainees so that they can also start correctly. You can see we have bot bottle of oxygen acetylene gas uh, cylinders here. We have buckets, we have the hoses, we have the toolbox, we have the compressor machine up to the back end in that place for the over 200 trainees that have been trained and are graduating today. So it's such an excellent thing that His Excellency has done. They are well equipped. In addition to the startup capital that they are giving, they also have equipped tools so His Excellency, you can see the tools. So these are the toolboxes that will go to the other remnants of trainees that have not been presented now. At the end of this, all of them will get each of these. So each of them will get other items. We have also the compressor machines over there. Yes, sir.
we are approaching the end of this uh, live telecast and as you can see this is the graduation of 200 youth trained on automobile repairs and maintenance by the Gambuja administration here in Kano State and this is the third batch of the training as uh, uh, explained by the governor there were 150 before this and the first one involving 72 uh, trainees and all of them are being settled in 10 uh, auto service centers uh, situated in the three senatorial districts of Kano State. The first one the four centers are situated in the densely populated part of the state which is the central three in the northern three in the northern senatorial zone and three in the southern body works first position metatronics yusuf ismail get ready where's abba umar Position body works. Abba Umar. If he's not ready, first position mechatronics, Yusuf Ismail Abdullahi. S second position Abu Bakar Daba. Get ready. Adam. Yusuf Ismail Abdullahi. First position mechatronics. Yusuf, first position mechatronics. Second position mechatronics. Abu Bakar, Gaba, Adam. Abu Bakar, third position. Umar, Malami. Abu Bakar, second position mechatronics. services for uh, road users or auto vehicle users in Kano, uh, as uh, explained by the training coordinator and the director general of the Pan Learning Center, Kaduna, uh, they've been subjected to intensive training on computerized diagnostic uh, system uh, for vehicles, and uh, this will ease the work of even the so this will help other mechanics motor mechanists in Kano who can take their motor vehicles uh, and be diagnosed in those uh, centers so that they can know what the problem is on such particular vehicles and pay which will be the and a source of income to the trainees but the equipment in the centers will remain property of the state government. Uh, so it will also serve as a training center for other uh, youth of the state. Because as explained by the governor and uh, an assurance by some of the trainees, they will continue to engage other youth, their friends, their relations in the state so that uh, the number of unemployed youth in the state will reduce drastically and uh, create wealth among youth as uh, one of the steps being taken by the government to ensure security and peace uh, which uh, is prevailing in the state as uh, uh, explained by the governor in the uh, keynote address he presented before this uh, 
presentation of uh, uh, working tools and uh, the uh, cash donation of, of 50,000 Naira to each of the 200 beneficiaries in the third batch of auto repairs and maintenance services. All persons arriving from China or any country that has a major outbreak is advised, if they have no symptoms at all, to self-isolate meaning that they stay indoors in their homes for at least two weeks. And if they develop any symptoms, like cough, catarrh, sneezing, breathing difficulties within this period, to report to the nearest health facility. We're also advising all airlines to report any case of a passenger falling sick on board before the plane lands that is a requirement uh, in the agreement. Nigeria Port Health Services and Nigeria Center for Disease Control are on alert at our airports and other points of entry.